Hey guys, this is the radio stack for the 737. Uh, we just got an interface to Flight Simulator 10 here. We've got the ADF, uh, NAVCOM 1, NAVCOM 2. And let's do a test. Got a handy little script here that will uh, just execute the program for us. There we go. Give it a second to sync up. It'll actually automatically detect uh, which port the Arduino is on, which means you don't have to worry about uh, if you move the Arduino to a different USB plug. It'll just keep working. Okay, let's look at Flight Simulator. Look at our frequencies here. We've got NAVCOM 1 at the top, then NAVCOM 2, and then the ADF. So it looks like COM1 is 126.6. And yep, 126.6. Let's flip over to the standby frequency. 135.05. There it is. Same for the navs. 114.3. We're going to bump that to 116.4. Yep. Let's see it moving there as I adjust the radio. We'll switch the comms again. And the ADF has an analog dial, which is interesting to make work, but it does work. So we'll see where we're at right now. It's like a little over 250. Look at that, 251. So let's adjust the dial here. Up to about, and we'll say around 280. Look at that. So a little bit imprecise trying to use an analog uh, ADF control with this the digital nature of flight simulator but as you can see it does work and it's stable enough that you can actually get it to pretty well hold a frequency so that is actually usable let's look at the box here we actually do need all those data connections that are hooked up got uh, little labels here so you can see what goes where I'll have some documentation that outlines that uh, for the lighting hookups, we've got this little breakout board here. I've labeled them. This connection here in the bottom left is ground. These other two connections, the TFR is actually 28 volts DC for the transfer light, which is this little, these two little lights here on the comm radio. So that needs to always have 28 volts. And then your, your panel lighting goes on the uh, top left connection here. So that'll go on that little that top left connection. And then the ADF, uh, since it's probably going to be a different voltage when once we get the bulbs for it, it's on its own separate uh, connection here. The ground, of course, is common. We will apply whatever voltage uh, you need to to match the bulbs that you put in the, in the ADF head. The other two connections were going to be for the transponder, which we're not doing right now, so they're not connected. And back here, you'll see we've also got the other ends of the cable is labeled. So you know which one goes where. Uh, ADF is a little bit of a mess. There were a whole lot of wires we didn't need, so I'll clean those up a little bit. And let's see, we've also got this connection here is just for the ADF, and uh, that pretty well covers everything.